Seasons Emmy winner James Spader has played our favorite criminal mastermind turned FBI informant Raymond Red Reddington on the hit NBC series The Black. Yep, and the much anticipated fourth season we were just talking about in commercial break kicks off tonight with more shocking surprises, plot twists, all those things we love. Take a look. Gentlemen, mind if I join you? Yeah, we do. <sighs> Raymond Reddington. The <laughs> Raymond Reddington? Concierge of crime? Man in the hat? Spy who stayed out in the cold? Haven't heard that last one. Never read the Le Carre novel. Demi, we should see if we can get the audio book on cassette for the car. Now, about that sample. Oh, man. <laughs> what happens next is a little too violent for morning television. Oh. James Spader. Of course, he drives around in a brand new S-Class Mercedes. So <laughs> I used to, the fact that he still doesn't have a clue that it's moved on from cassettes. Is... <laughs> <laughs> you are, you're executive producer of the show as well as star of the show. So you're involved in all the writing of the show. There are quite a few executive producers on the show. But you are, you are intense and obsessive in the material, right? You're with all storylines yeah. go through you, don't they? Uh, they do. Uh, I mean, I listen, uh, this show is enormously difficult to mount um, right from the very beginning, mm -hmm. to conceive of the storylines, to write them, to then produce them right. and cut them together, and to sort of stay on top of every aspect of it is really um, very often more than we are all, as a collective, more than we are up to. I mean, we're, we discovered a thing. Just last night we were shooting a scene and discovered a, a, a possible misstep um, in a scene that had gone unchecked um, that we solved on the set. Um, Might be a problem later. Wow. When you do, yeah, right? just because oh, the stories are very, right, you're, yeah. our, we're, all of our stories paint us into a corner. Yeah. Wow. And you have to find a way to climb up the wall and across the ceiling and out the and door. And keep it going fourth season. I was yeah. noticing in that scene, Red had his hat on the table. You're sitting here with us. Oh. <laughs> Has he, like, invaded James? No, I, you know, I, we have the same hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> you have a massive hat collection, though, don't you? Yes. I, I have a, uh, enough, Three just minutes. enough. <laughs> Just what you need. That's what you need. <laughs> you understand. understand. I do. Now. I do. I love hats. I do. You, the thing I love about the program. Well, we share something in yes, common. We're twins, <laughs> separated at birth. It's red and little red. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, we won't go there. But uh, in any event, you, the, the thing red. is, you're never. The stories are, aren't bound by what we normally think of in episodic television. It, it, this the show goes in all different directions. I think the show would be much easier to make if it were, but we'd never have found an equation for the show. There's never been a formula for it. And, um, uh, and, and it is, which is, listen, it's one of the reasons why it's compelling to make. It's one of the reasons why I think it's compelling to watch. Um, and when I first read the pilot, it's the thing that attracted me to it, is I, I saw a show that really the possibilities were limitless mm. and the landscape was limitless. Uh, and we're trying to take advantage of that as, as uh, we best can. I know that Lizzie, we've, going into season four, we can say that Lizzie is alive and she's allegedly with her biological father, but then again, we don't know exactly if, right. if he's biological father, but... Is it one of those things that um, you can never really answer to keep the blacklist the black? I think for the blacklist to continue, every answer that you provide the audience with, and also certain characters on the show, every answer has to pose two more questions. Wow. Right. Um, otherwise, the, the sort of paradigm for the show sort of fractures. I mean, it really, that's what the show is. Mm -hmm. The show you know, in its, in, its, in its very premise, the show, the engine of the show was a sort of enigmatic character. As you sort of chip away at the enigma, if you become, if you chip away too much, your show has ended because that's the foundation that the show is built Talking on. Talking to you is like a master class in life. Everything you say, the description, it's phenomenal. Well, congratulations on the fourth season. That's Thank right. you very much. I teased it at the top. I have a quick, quick answer. You did go to school with JFK Jr. And I did. Mm -hmm. When the Secret Service was there looking after him, true or false, you would love to run up behind okay, him, yeah, tackle yeah. him, so they would freak out. 
We did. I mean, we, of course, <laughs> now looking oh, back on that story, that. we may project a little bit more of that freaking oh. out than it may have been. Oh. They were probably oh. used to that yeah, sort of nice. behavior by that point. And they you know, know their power. I think he was, they were more like, <laughs> okay. Oh, get out of here. Oh, well, congratulations <laughs> again, James. Season Thank premiere you. of The Blacklist tonight at 10, 9 Central, right here on NBC. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.